All right. This is the metrics models working group for March 29th for me, March 28th for some, some of you uh, here mm -hmm. at the meeting. So, um, all right, March 30th, not March 28th, March 30th. Yeah, March 30th. <laughs> it's been a long day. I'm sorry. <laughs> How does time work? I don't know. Um, Yohoi, I'm going to let you kind of take this and run with it because I think you want to talk about the community activity that you yes. all are. Yeah. So I, I can share my screen. We are seeing your Slack. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Actually, I I sent this uh, doc uh, yesterday on the Slack channel uh, on the metrics metrics okay. model channel, and uh, and today I would like to go through the whole uh, uh, community activity this talk quickly, and then we can, uh, I, I, I would like to demo it uh, on this dashboard. Uh, I, I, we set up this dashboard uh, through the open search dashboard together with Grimlab. Then we can see how it works uh, to find the, the, some, some uh, interesting points through this matrix model together with the, the data we collected. Uh, for these two communities, I anonymous the, the community community's name because to, uh, because today we are not going to to say discuss which which community is plays better on uh, or by or, or worse. We just to, to say uh, to find out uh, how it works. I mean how this activity metrics model works uh, uh, to uh, based on this based on the data. We fetched from these two communities. Okay. So, how it uh, why it matters? So, uh, community community activity just describes how it uh, how how it uh, active on, uh, of this community. We set up uh, four user stories based on the different personalities. For the community manager, uh, so I I want to investigate what is root cause, good abide to make activity increase or decline, or as possible from a company. I am I'm, I'm looking for a, a community to set up the uh, this relationship uh, as a partner relationship. So I want uh, this community more active, so I can get quickly feedback. Uh, if I want to fix some bug or, or to create some new features. And also for the individual contributors, I'm looking for some active communities uh, and uh, which means my uh, the, the, the contribution made by me is more visible and also I can get quickly uh, 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 feedback and support if I was a freshman. So, and also uh, this is being added so also as a community manager of this project, I hope there was a simple way that would help me quickly identify how active of this project. And uh, I pick up the metrics from uh, below metrics uh, of, for, of the chaos. Uh, uh, I can see that it's totally uh, six uh, metrics. And also because uh, for for something for some single chaos metrics, there is different uh, data collection strategy. So and I I define that and with a clear definition of the data collection strategy to make it more clear how to how to implement it, how to implement it in the uh, in the Grim Lab or in the future in other data collection uh, platform like in, in Augur and in some other. Um, platform so here for example contributors is from uh, our metrics common metrics and uh, there is a data collection strategy i defined about contributor count we consider the commit author review participant issue author issue comments participant in the past uh, uh, 90 days 
theme. Uh, so these roles have, have to be play, uh, uh, turned, uh, play these roles uh, as active uh, people in the past uh, three months. And also there's another uh, strategy, uh, data collection strategy from this contributor metric. It's a maintainer role. So I want to collect uh, the average number of maintainer uh, per repo. Uh, if this community has, uh, you know, as a multiple repos, I count this number. If there are only one uh, uh, repository in this community, of course, I can only get uh, this uh, one repos uh, maintainer. So the similarly like uh, other uh, metrics, code change commit, and this data collection strategy is also in the past 90 days, every num uh, average number of commit. So I'm not going to go through all the metrics. I would like to see your comments in the following uh, days if you have interest. If you have if you have interest on that, uh, your comments are welcome. And so in the next uh, chapter, I create this. Uh, I create a table uh, for the about uh, data collection strategy as a matrix name. So it's totally asserting metrics, and uh, each matrix I give the their clear uh, data collection strategy definition, and each uh, def, uh, each metric I give the um, weight. So it's really based on the uh, uh, and algorithm uh, HP. Uh, and then uh, and that's the uh, hierarchical process. It's uh, our uh, it's been used for almost uh, fifty years, so it's a very popular uh, uh, analysis process. And uh, to to say if there is more than two and uh, 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 indicators, we will to uh, to to say the relationship between them. Uh, it's, it's very uh, it's a very popular uh, uh, algorithm. So we use this uh, to to uh, ca uh, calculate the weight. And also we define the threshold for the each of single uh, metric. And finally, we use this uh, certain metrics to count a uh, value. Uh, it's a number between zero and one. And also uh, we get this value uh, for each week. So which means we can say this value changed Based on uh, in the time trendy, in the time trendy. Um, alpha means the weight, and uh, SI means the value we get for for the each of the single metric, and TI means the the threshold. Okay. Then we can go through the dashboard. I have a quick question first. Um, yep. I noticed that so some of these, uh, well, a couple of comments before we go on. Um, I love that we have these new metrics and um, we had the same issue in the evolution working group when we started to work on code complexity as a metrics model. And we realized we didn't have an actual metric for just lines of code. So it was just like a static count of something very simple and high level that we just didn't have a metric for. So I think this is kind of identifying and surfacing some of the same kind of metrics that are just baseline, like how many contributors do we have at this point in time? And how many contributors do we have, you know, 90 days from now? So um, I love that. And I think those are, are really good metrics that we should have and we can knock those out pretty quickly. Like we can develop those pretty quickly. So thank you for doing that. Um, the second thing I just want to ask about is when you're creating this formula um, and crunching these numbers, some of those meeting or some of those um, those metrics, the meeting count and the meeting attendee count, like those will be something that somebody will have to get manually, right? 
Mm -hmm. And so how does that, like, where do those numbers go? Would, would that person who's wanting to run this metrics model just do that physical work of counting how many meetings and counting how many people were at the meetings and then plopping those numbers or plugging those numbers in somewhere into a database or like how would that integrate in with the rest of the trace data? Okay, actually we uh, in the Green Lab, we have um, many di different kind of backend to support us to, uh, to retrieve those data from the different data sources. For okay. example, the mail list. The mail list is supported by the Hypercati. Hypercati is a, you know, a soft software to, to archive the mail. So, so we provide such backend to automatically to fetch the data from the Hypercati and to do the data analysis and the store it store the, the analysis data into the database and finally we use some different kind of dash, dashboard to to make the visualization like uh, kibana supported by Elasticsearch or open search dashboard supported by open search uh, of course many other things like uh, grafna yeah i was because i was just thinking if we were to run this metrics models on the chaos community like all of that we have that data, but it's not anywhere that's accessible. So we keep track of, you know, how many people come to the meetings, but you have to go back and like, look at the documents and add it up manually. So I just yeah. wondered if that would plug in. So thank you. This is fantastic. This is really, really great work. Thank you so much. Okay. So, okay, right now I'm gonna go uh, demo it. Uh, so first of all, I, I, can, I can introduce some background. Uh, so we pick up two projects, or we can call it two communities. And these two communities have uh, the similar, uh, they produce the similar uh, software. And uh, so I, I can see that actually these two communities, they actually, the, the Linux uh, open source system, uh, oh, sorry, Linux op operating system distribution communities. So project B has a longer, very longer history and the more than the uh, he, he has uh, it has um, more than 10 years history uh, and the project b just uh, created like uh, two or three years ago uh, so uh, and the way for each of single project uh, you know for the operating system uh, distribution uh, community uh, they have many many uh, um, repos uh, repositories we call it we call the pack packages to to build up you know to build up the whole operating system so we pick up the 20 most important uh, software uh, repository in each of single uh, community and uh, these 200 uh, repositories they have uh, the similar they have the uh, the same name and uh, the it, and the same functionalities from both of these two projects or communities. So, and um, so this 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 twenty, uh, this two hundred repos is our uh, sample data. I can see that for the for the each of single project. And uh, the first we can see the the general the final result. Uh, we count this the metrics model activity in value each of single week. And if we if I dis disabled project A and we just can say the project B has a two version released every in, in every year. And uh, almost a half years, they released the one release. Uh, release. And, uh, and you can see it's very simple that, that they have the, the you know, uh, very regular uh, uh, peak and the valley. Uh, it's rare. We can see that it, this pr pr community is very mature uh, communities. And if we look at Project A 
I, I, I disabled project B. And we can see that um, see that this, uh, this community set up like two or three years, uh, more than two years. And uh, at the beginning, it's uh, the, uh, this community activity is it's low, of course, but it's it increases quickly. And uh, after that, uh, from this uh, score, we can say that uh, it's become uh, more or less stable. But uh, if we uh, looking through the metric support by the uh, by the by, by this uh, com uh, activity model, we can see some some different things from the different uh, perspective because uh, because it's very new. So something it's very different from compared with the stable community. So if we go inside into the each of single metrics, I, I use seven metrics to compare these two communities uh, for the activity metrics model. So all these seven metrics uh, 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 coming from the metrics models, uh, this table, I pick up seven metrics So the so first one is contributor count. So also you can see for the project B, which is very stable, they have uh, uh, the number of the, uh, the contributor count is stable, but for the project A, it's increased very quickly at the beginning. And, uh, and uh, I think it's very normal. For the commit frequency, uh, it's average number of commit uh, per week, uh, in the project, um, if I disabled project B and use this table uh, to combine this uh, the, the final result, and uh, we can notice that they have a regular peak and valley, and this peak and valley has a very um, uh, it match with the, the each of the single. Uh, release tempo. So before each of single uh, release, uh, the contributor uh, commit frequency will increase. And after this release, after every single release, the, con uh, the commit frequency will become uh, uh, low. Uh, so so we, from this point, we can see that the project B has really a, a stable contributors and the commit frequency tempos, and they they, uh, they know when to com uh, commit more. Uh, I mean, contribute more commit uh, before the uh, release, uh, and after that, uh, of course, uh, they will slow down the the, the development process. But uh, for the project A. You can see that the, their commit frequency is very quick and increase uh, very uh, high uh, quickly. It's, uh, uh, I mean, after like uh, just half years after it's created, set up, and their commit frequency it's become much longer and become much bigger than the project B. I think it's very normal for a new project because it attracted more people uh, or contributors uh, together with this pic uh, uh, picture, we can see that it, because it attracted more contributors for he, this uh, project and it will uh, you know, get more contributions, achieve more contributions from other contributors. But it's not always good for this project A. If we look at this, pro this picture, this is the update scenes. And um, I defined the uh, uh, defined uh, uh, the definition of data collections. It means average time per repos since repo uh, repos were last updated. You know, as I mentioned, for uh, for operating system distribution um, uh, communities, each uh, they have like ten thousand uh, packages or repos for in their communities uh, to secure uh, Linux distribution released together with the latest version or 
you know, the, the new version of the packages, they have to make sure to maintain this 10,000 packages in time. So it's very important for uh, such communities. So, so let's come back to this to this picture. I can. And uh, if I disable the project A, we can see the project B first. You can see it's really regular, stable. Uh, you know, uh, at at uh, like uh, every half year, project B uh, will update their uh, packages, uh, almost all the packages quickly, and to prepare the next release. And they have really, uh, you know, the the re regular uh, and uh, uh, normal. Uh, temples of release plan to do that. That would secure this 10,000 uh, uh, packages to get maintained, to making sure that each of single release would uh, using the new packages of the version the, of the software. But if I, if we check the project A, you can see that at the beginning, it looks like it has this community has maintained all the uh, packages because we uh, use the 200 sample packages at our uh, data source. Uh, and uh, like this point, uh, all the packages of, the, of these 200, uh, 200 packages has, has been maintained, has been updated. But after that, uh, it looks like uh, they just focus on the some of the single some 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 part of the packages, but for the rest of the other packages, uh, they don't have uh, intention to maintain that, which caused that uh, this uh, uh, update sense value would increase uh, would increase. Uh, it's not like Project B. It will be uh, declined, to which means it maintained for the each of single metrics uh, packages. Sorry. And uh, okay. The next one is created things. So it's it means every uh, every time per 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 repos and repos were created, of course, because project B has a longer history. So it's what uh, we can get here. And the uh, project B can get here average time value uh, than the project A. And the common frequency means every uh, you know every num uh, uh, average number of comments. Um, poor issues in the in the past uh, in the past uh, uh, ninety days. So um, we can see this picture together with other uh, rest rest of the two uh, pictures to say that the issue uh, part uh, project A because it, uh, they have more contributors and more commit, which means they have more uh, issues discussion and uh, handling. Uh, for the project A compared with project B, but- uh, Mary, I wonder um, if you could talk about why you think the comment frequency is so flat and if there's anything that could be done. Like, do you think that that's informative? Like it really just doesn't change or do you think that the metric could be more sensitive? Uh, you mean the flight? The uh, comment flight. So uh, 1.1.5? Yeah, that's right. The flatness, particularly, I mean, really on both of them. Because I, I'm not, uh, I, I use in the average number of the comments in the next, uh, uh, in the past uh, 90 days. And, uh, and uh, you mean the flat? I, I, I mean, for the age of thing, for, especially for the project B, if you check into the, their issue tracker system, we can say that 
the con the total number of the issue is not that many it's not that big but uh, in the each of single issue they do they uh, do have some real discussions around this uh, around the each of single issue try to find out the the, the, the final resolutions but for the project a uh, actually um, so for well, they didn't discuss so much in in the issue uh, I think um, which means project B has more mature uh, and, and more uh, mature uh, contributors which could provide more good support for for the people who just attend the project but the project a it's similar like uh, okay many new peoples and new contributors come to these communities but uh, uh, it looks like they couldn't get the, the, the feedback or support in time. So the, the issue comments is very short. It, it's very, it, it's little. Thank you for that. Yes, I can, I can feel now that it's, it's informative. Like I'm genuinely learning about these projects. Although I am, I'm still surprised that project A has such a flat, in fact, that they're both so flat. I would expect them to be more meaningful. Uh, mm, because yeah. yes, I, when I when, when, when I create this uh, program, uh, it's already it, it's also uh, make me <laughs> interesting for, for that. Why it's so flat? So I check the, all the uh, in the many issues. Uh, pop up from the project B to find out. So it looks like it's have a regular CI res uh, re result, and we have the filter of this robot, uh, uh, you know, uh, issues, comments, and we just uh, account the real people's co comments. But yeah. it's true that we, we can get its average values. And, and also consider that, that uh, for this project B, because the this project this community has more than ten years history, and the contributor around this project is very stable. I yeah. mean the people, uh, in mm -hmm. yeah. So I always found the same people. I, I mean the, a group of people uh, could give the uh, I mean the quickly uh, support around the same uh, around the, the related topic. So I guess that's why. Thank you for giving me so much time. I apologize for intruding. And that's fine. Uh, so I just mentioned this is just the issue comments frequency for the rest of two uh, uh, metrics is about the closed issue count and update issue count. Actually, these two metrics, they have similar, you, you can see the picture change. Uh, uh, the trend you can they, they have the uh, the close relationship with the, each other uh, because close uh, this is the one action of the update and also uh, but reason I want the I this update issue because uh, you know the issue the, the update issue means not just create not just uh, close but also if you have uh, you know add any tags uh, or add new comments is also considered as the uh, uh, action of the update for these issues. I treat it as uh, the one uh, uh, matrix to set up or to compose of these activity matrix models. But uh, its weight is not that big. We can see that uh, its weight is only, yeah, uh, 4.9 percentage. So in total, um, we can figure out the final result uh, of these two projects, which have similar uh, softwares. Uh, we can compare with each other. And uh, also, uh, we can look in through the, the each of single metrics composed of this matrix model to, fi to figure out any, uh, uh, any things we want uh, relate to this matrix. Uh, especially I mentioned here, the update scenes, which is very important for distribution uh, communities, uh, you know, for the Linux kernel, uh, Linux operating system. 
we have to maintain it uh, in time and uh, for, for all the packages. But uh, it looks like Project A have some problem, but uh, I think it's fun for, for new communities which just set up two years, especially for the you know, uh, operating system distribution communities. Uh, and we can learn uh, many things from these stable communities like Project B. They control and plan their release temples is uh, in a very good way. Okay, that's all I I I <laughs> I can I can I can demo and uh, and share today. And questions. Yohoi, I'm curious, and I don't think you said this. I might have missed it. Um, when you're looking at the chart you had with the weights um, yep. given to people or given to metrics, oh, I see. What, why is that one like a minus weight to it? There's one that has, uh, if you go up a little. A uh, Plato, okay. Yeah, right there. The because... updated, yeah, why is that a minus weight? Which means uh, this value got more, uh, the value, the smaller value, the, the better is uh, situation is oh, provided. Okay. I got you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh -huh. That makes sense. Okay. Hmm? Yeah. How to use it in the end of the talk? And uh, like, like you describe, uh, like you explained how to see this video viewable. Mm -hmm. Sorry, could, could you repeat your question too? Uh, I mean, <clears throat> you describe uh, a lot of thing about how to see the picture, how to see, how to see your results. And uh, I think uh, maybe we could add, add it in the end of the talk. Okay, yeah, I add the, the, some snapshot of the, the, the things that I share today. Uh, I mean, the yeah. nicest, the nicest uh, uh, things about each of single pictures, I did something about it or yeah. Uh, okay, have I... other to know how to how to see this picture. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can I can add something about it to introduce more about each of the single result for the metrics because uh, you know the reason why I pick up one matrix model which contains like uh, more than ten metrics, which is the number is huge. Uh, the, the reason why I do that because uh, I just want uh, using you know uh, some way to uh, to to make the final result looks uh, uh, it's very simple to find to figure out or uh, to figure out uh, to investigate uh, to let users who use this matrix model to get quickly uh, insight. But behind that, we can use some, you know, uh, algorithm or um, matrix model algorithms to make it, uh, uh, we can hide the complexity of these calculations behind the, the, the visualization and make the final result to look better. Yeah, yeah. it's very cool. You, okay. Uh, uh, yep. I have a question. So, uh, I see you have taken six metrics, but I see more uh, uh, yeah. within each. So, is it like so? We define one metric and has a clear uh, definition or clear strategy. Are these filters from those metrics? I'm trying to connect those dots. Like, okay, you have six metrics. But mm -hmm. like, for example, you took a contributor metric and within contributor, you have a maintainer count, you have a contributor count. Mm -hmm. 
So is maintainer a metric or is it a filter within a metric? I'm just trying to understand that scenario. Yeah, as I mentioned, uh, here we have, uh, I pick up six different chaos metrics we defined in the chaos. Okay. And uh, in, in each of single metrics, for example, in the contributor, you know, uh, I using two different uh, data collection strategy to define okay. the contributor count and the maintainer count. You know, these two, all these two uh, uh, data uh, collection strategy be belong to the, the same metrics, but uh, they represent uh, uh, the two different data collection strategy. And uh, I collected these two, uh, uh, two datas. So okay. one is the con contributor count, which including the, you know, the commit authors, review participant, uh, blah, blah. And the maintainer count only consider the, the maintainer count so, for so, each of single reviews. So yep. My question is like, is maintainer a contributor? Like somebody contributed and maintainer just approve it. So is maintainer a contributor in that scenario? Yeah, yeah. the maintainer, it's a, it's a role that uh, who have a right to approve and uh, approve the uh, the 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 pull request, and also they have many other uh, responsibilities. You know, yeah, to call but, our, some meetings. But, like. uh, if you look at the definition of contributor, contributor is one who has submitted the code, not the one who has approved. Like approval is there. I agree. Without approval in open source, it's like uh -huh. uh, uh, the work doesn't happen. But for contributor count, the metric focuses on the who is contributing and counting that. Yeah, because here we have different, many different kind of filters okay. for the engagement. So, uh, I mean, the maintainers, I, I okay. make it as one of the role in okay. the project, it's a maintainers. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. I got it. Yeah, no, thank the, you for clarity. Yeah, the reason I mark it as yellow, the things, uh, the the things are marked yellow because okay. uh, they they didn't mention obvious obviously but uh, i think it's better to add it into the exist metrics or we can mm. create every single uh just the specific metrics for this one like like here uh, we have a, a metric called activity dates and times in the common group working group okay uh, yeah. but uh, i think it's uh it's better that we pick up uh, this, uh, um, okay. you know, okay. data collection okay. strategy out of, out of this uh, metric, I set up the, the new ones. Okay, so that means from each metric, you are picking one to whatever the filters are available in the data source. You are picking those filters as a way to yeah. tell your story or, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I really yeah. liked your approach, really appreciate it. Okay. Uh, as you, um, as you mentioned, we added some new metric, a mm -hmm. uh, new single metric. <clears throat> um, do we have to add add this new simple metric first, or, um... uh, I think uh, in the next uh, in the next uh, meeting. Uh, or afterward, after this meeting, I would like to add some uh, important metrics. I think we can create it for the chaos, and uh, you know, following the metric template to set up to set up it for the each uh, in the each different uh, uh, working group, yep. and define yep. that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was suggesting. Like uh, any new metric you have used over here, it's better to create a issue for like metric idea that's and it. a template, or if you are uh, good, just create a template and share it in the working group and that can be refined or worked on and yeah. added. Yes, yeah. You know, 
uh, I mean, the the chaos uh, is gonna release a new version. Uh, I mean, yeah. in the early next month, but after that, yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we can after do first, it, you right? can create those. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. If there's no more questions, I will stop my sharing. I really like that you provided detailed um, uh, uh, quantitative metrics. And we were able to look at two different projects and get an intuitive sense for whether um, the metrics worked or didn't, right? Because we kind of, we, let me, sorry. Um, like we kind of, we can, we can check. Mm -hmm. you know, and, yeah. and science is like, it's data-driven. It's not that this is science, but it's data-driven. It's about the real world and you have to check your intuitions against, um, against facts. So I found it really valuable. And, um, and I, uh, if I had any misgivings, it is that the, level of detail sometimes makes it hard to um, understand the relevance of the metric to the model. I mean, I, I get it because we're here and that's what we're doing, but it might be that your users who are looking at the, at the, at the graphs get a little bit lost. And you might want to um, see if there's anything that you could eliminate for the sake of having better um, uh, information prioritization, you know, more, more clarity about what's important. Yeah, that's, that's why, uh, you know, we have with it such months, monthly reports for the, each of single uh, metrics model. And we will highlight some important point point for the each of single metric exists in one metrics model to highlight it. Okay, this is the problem of, of some regular patterns we found out mm -hmm. and to let you to pay attention on that. Uh, like, like you mentioned, if one metric has, has more than 10 metrics, we are not going to, to, to introduce every single metrics result. It's yeah. very boring, but we will highlight some important priority ties, some, some, some key points for that, especially they have some uh, some changes in this uh, monitoring uh, trend. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and also the one thing I think it's very neat, very important thing is we have to do some comparisons be between two communities. You know, one is our own communities, one is have similar situations, which is maybe better than you or have, have a, uh, uh, longer history or shorter history, whatever, but um, they have the similar things, uh, situations. We can compare with each other to say, okay, this one he is better than me, and uh, what what kind of situ uh, process I can handle to 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 change that. This the things. So I, I mean the the comparison is is very important. I think. Yeah, I agree. I found that it did provide insights and I did understand the projects better. Yeah. I asked this question in this in Slack, but um, I also want to ask it here. So looking at this wonderful metrics model and seeing these these really informative graphs, do you think it's the job of chaos to um, take it a step further and explain what these what these numbers mean, just like you have done here, Yuhoi, like you kind of going through it with us was extremely helpful because I don't know that I would have caught the nuance of the, the graphs and the way that they are, um, the way that we're comparing these two projects. So do you think that that is something, I mean, I have my own opinions about it, but I want to pose it to the group of, uh, do you think that that's chaos's job is to help people also understand the data that they may be seeing 
And, and then to take it a little further, do you think it's the job of chaos to offer advice on how to move those numbers or influence that data? So like, mm -hmm. if you see that something's off in your data, well, uh, then what, you know, like, is it chaos, is it up to chaos to provide that guidance of, mm -hmm. Hey, it looks like your contributors were going really down. Here's some things you can do to raise that number again. So I just want to pose that to the group and see what y'all think. Yeah, I think it's, uh, uh, you know, for the different, because we have many, many different uh, communities and uh, the, if the, the trend become down or increase, it's mean the different for, for the different communities. It's not, not means it's increase means it's good. Uh, decline means it's bad. So I, I think we may could provide some background about metrics uh, to take some best practice or examples to use in some exist value for uh, maybe we can use chaos as our best practice to explain the data. So you can use in uh, after they say the chaos project uh, the real data and based on some metrics model results. Okay, they can figure out, okay, this metrics means this one. And I can use this metrics model uh, for my communities to explain the different thing, but I totally understand what it means already. So yeah, we can use communities, uh, the chaos communities or any other communities, they would like to provide such data. I mean, our community, uh, our case, our chaos of course could provide such data. I think Elizabeth would like to do that. <laughs> In my personal feeling is that's really the future of what we're doing here is not just to, you know, we're, we're still going to, we're still going to develop these metrics and still going to work on different ways to measure, but and then we're going to bring all the metrics together. And then we're going to tell you how to interpret what you're looking at, because it might not be as obvious as, you know, especially to an open source maintainer that might not, you know, they may not quite understand, um, you know how these these numbers affect their project or what they actually mean when when put in context with other things you uh, know yeah. like i i'm sure they probably understand what contributor count means but do they understand what it means in in the conjunction with some of the other metrics and how that plays in so um yeah i think that that's that's the that i think it would be a great role for chaos is to provide that guidance at least interpretation yeah, yeah i don't i don't know about moving the numbers maybe maybe not i don't know that seems like a a whole other can of worms, like you said, <laughs> a whole other subject. But, um, I don't know. I think it's interesting, and I think we can provide a lot of um, a lot of help for people who are trying to make things better for their communities, for sure. Yeah. Uh, so we are gonna run out of time, but I, I'm gonna say that if you have more interest on this matrix model, uh, uh, your comments are really welcome. And uh, we welcome the further discussion around this metrics model. And also in the future, we more metrics model in the similar way we are going to introduce uh, in such a way to compare two communities and figure out uh, how to investigate and inside, provide some insight about it around this metrics. Yep. Great job. Yeah. That was fantastic. Thank you so much. That was really and awesome. Thank you to all of you. Uh, I, I appreciate you. Um, doing the demo, and, um, but also June and Shen, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, I guess that's thank it. Thank you. <laughs> guess we'll see you all next time. Thanks, everybody. See you. Take care. Bye. See Bye. You.